So hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Ashish in Logan State. So we are back at our site. The AC is pretty good. It's doing a fantastic job. The room is cool. Some of you are asking the AC is in here. The AC is in on the site of 22. The room is cool. So I like that. Um, we have two problems. One we solved, the other we've not solved. This one is in EPS waiting, and the reason is because it's only showing on L1 is showing zero, L2 and L3 are showing um, output. So if, you had a, if you've had any experience with the solar X inverter, where, or a three phase where L1 wasn't showing any output, tell us how you solved it. So we had a problem that persisted for quite a while. If you recall, in one of the videos I'd done, I mentioned that we only connected three of the four batteries. And the reasoning was because we didn't have enough cabling. We went back to the office, put together some cables, <clears throat> and then we added the fourth battery. And after adding the fourth battery, you think that we'll have more capacity? We did not. So we had this, so when we added the extra battery, you would think we have more capacity and we had the exact opposite, we had less capacity. The, one of the batteries was, well, the new batteries we added usually come from the factory with a state of charge of anywhere between 45 and 55 percent. When my team added the new battery on, the SOC on the three were about 97, 98 percent. So they added the fourth battery and it did not change the state of charge by a whole lot. Now, that evening, the batteries discharged very quickly. So we went to the state of charge of the last battery, instead of the state of charge of the first three. And every, for the first two, three nights, the lights would go out because it was showing a state of charge that was below 16%, and this, con this persisted. So I reached out to SolarX, and I said, how long would it take for the batteries to balance? And the response they gave me was not very encouraging. They're telling me it take weeks. If the, difference, different, if the differential wasn't much, it would happen pretty quickly. But if the differential was a lot, it could take weeks. And we didn't have weeks. And now I think, I think back. My batteries at my place took quite a while to balance. So what did we do? We came in two days ago and removed the last slave battery we'd added. And once we removed the state of charge change, so when we came in, the state of charge was 16. When we removed it, the state of charge was 58. So we knew what our benchmark was going to be. And then we did it for all. We did it for one, two, three, four, and five. Then what we did after that was we removed, um, we discharged the batteries to about 20%, some to 16%, some to 17%. And then we put back the slave battery and charge everything back up. And you know what? Since then, we've not had any issues. So if you're going to add extra batteries to an existing SolarX installation, make sure you match the state of charge of the batteries. If not, discharge your main batteries to about 45% and then add the slave. In our case, we knew what the benchmark was, so we, can, we could reference it. Um, that's it. Um, we have one inverter, so we'll be replacing this one. So we'll have, five, we'll have five, well, we're supposed to have six. But this one is giving us a problem, so we only have four that are running. And then um, this one, we don't know what to do yet. I'll do a firmware update, hoping to wake it up. If the firmware update wakes it up, because we're having communication issues, I'll do a firmware update. If it wakes it up, then we don't need to get a new inverter. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're here to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Solar coming to you. Oh, wait, there's more. Um, all these cables here, so this 150 mm cables are for, from the generator into this room. And we're going to put the box on this wall and all the bus bars will be in that box. And from there, it will feed um, charge to the inverters and then we'll also take it from here into the EPS power box to allow for the switch when the jam comes on while the batteries are charging. So, yes, that's what I forgot to say. Once again, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have subscribed, click the subscribe button. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in Ogun State. Thank you for watching.